Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How are title and boundary disputes resolved under real property law? Title disputes involve issues with the legal ownership or rights to a property. These can arise from unclear ownership records, errors in documents, fraudulent transactions, or missing heirs or beneficiaries. To resolve title disputes, one common approach is to seek an action to quiet title. This is a legal procedure where a court declares the rights of the parties involved, providing a conclusive judgment on the title issue. The Real Property Actions and Proceedings Law Art Babel outlines that such an action must include a statement that the action is being brought pursuant to RPA Bell, and the demand for judgment should seek to bar the defendant and anyone claiming under them from any claim to the property. In cases of title disputes, the court may also consider issues like adverse possession, where a person claims ownership of a property by continuously occupying it in a manner that is hostile, actual, open, notorious, exclusive, and continuous for a statutory period, typically 10 years in New York. Boundary disputes, on the other hand, concern the physical boundaries of a property. These can arise from unclear property lines, inaccurate surveys, misplaced fences or structures, or claims of adverse possession. To resolve boundary disputes, parties often start by reviewing all relevant property records, including deeds, surveys, and historical documents. Open and respectful communication with neighbors can sometimes resolve these issues amicably. However, if disputes persist, hiring a licensed surveyor to accurately establish property boundaries can be crucial. In some cases, the doctrine of practical location may apply, where boundary lines are established by the long-term acquiescence of neighbors in a clearly demarcated line. This requires mutual understanding and acceptance of the boundary line for over 10 years. If negotiations and surveys do not resolve the dispute, parties may turn to mediation or arbitration. These processes involve a neutral third party to help reach a mutually acceptable agreement without going to court. However, if these methods fail, legal action may be necessary, involving court proceedings to determine the boundary line based on evidence and legal principles. In court, the decision on boundary lines can be influenced by various factors, including the intent of the parties as reflected in deeds and other documents, as well as extrinsic evidence to clarify any ambiguities. The court may also consider whether there has been a practical location of the boundary line through long-term use and acquiescence. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.